What was it like for you to go back and help Ronda out this season and show the uh, new crew how to roll and everything with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu episode that you had there? Uh, it was cool. It was nice of her to invite me out and um, and uh, train with the team and, and meet all the people. There were some cool... I see all the, the a bunch of the girls from the team, some of the guys from the team, and they were, they were all real cool people. And uh, it was it was cool. Like I was just telling them, I, I got to see from my outer experience instead of the inner looking out. So it was cool to meet all those guys before they become stars and and see how good and and, and put my personal opinion on who I think was going to be do well. I, I could tell who who who's going to be real tough and stuff. You know, something that we don't see in the sport very often is. Um, towels being thrown in from the corners and that was something that I think was it your brother or was it uh, your trainer who threw it in for your last fight yeah no, my brother he threw in the towel yeah do you think that that's like a, a brotherly thing that like sometimes like if you're, they're not related to you they don't feel comfortable throwing in the towel and your brother yeah I think it's a big a lot of pressure for people to like throw in a towel for, for, for somebody but you know at the same time where my brother fights he's, he's experienced in fighting and he uh he understand. I understand too. Like I just saw the last Junior Nathantos fight, and Cam Velasco. Then I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with? Does this guy have friends? You know what I'm saying? Do they have any friends? This is not cool. Like if, for me, if my partner's fighting, and he's not doing well, and if I get time to talk to him, or if it's too early in the round, I'm gonna I'm gonna say if he doesn't start doing better, and keeps catching punches, or keep catching shots. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this towel, and you know what I'm saying. He's gonna have to be mad at me later, but you know what I'm saying. I'm the one who's gonna have to go to sleep at night thinking how I let you get your ass whooped. So I think that m- might have been like how my brother thought about it. And on top of it, you know, my older brother, and he was, a, and like I, I I said about him too. I'm mad at him. He he was doing uh what he he thought was right. He's like I don't want to see my brother take no shots. You know they don't I don't think they pay us well enough to be. Get taking fucking ass whooping like this, you know. By all means, I'll take my motherfucking ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and like like I was saying already before, I, I didn't feel like like uh the fight should be ended. But that's just my opinion and everybody else's opinion. And if I was watching from the outside, I probably would have thought too. Like even when I watch, I'm like, oh yeah, that didn't really that didn't look good. But the only people who know are people who are in that fight, you know, because. Sometimes I look great in fights, and it's like I've been schooling people, up. and it's like whooping their asses all over the place. And then I and I and I watch the fight, and I'm like, man, I'm looking good in this fight, right? Really, I fucking got socked, and I was like hurting, or I got hit in the body, and it wasn't a good shot that I took back. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell. No one can tell. No one knows. And you would probably never admit that. I didn't even admit that right now. It's just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and. Uh, but for for the most part, you know, it, it, that's how I felt about the fight. I like I, I felt felt I was defending myself a little bit, but I watched it too. It didn't look good. It looked like it was time to throw yeah. in the towel. So I agree with the the towel. Is that throw something that hand. fighters ever talk about? That like, hey, I don't want you to ever throw in the towel for me, or or is it like? Yeah, but it's kind of ignorant. You know, it's kind of like if I have a partner who's my friend, my, my people who I train with are my friends and my training partners and my my folks. You know, like. I'm like, okay, you can tell me and be tough if you want. That's a fight, fighter. You yeah, as a fighter, that's your duty to be a soldier. You know what I'm saying? Go in there and not, you know, don't fucking throw no towel for me. You know what I'm saying? No, and then, you know, if my partner's fighting who I, who I like, love, or care about, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay, we're going to throw the towel. And, yeah, and then you can cross my mind because I didn't think you were going to But you know what happens? If, if you start catching some shots and taking some ass whooping and I don't like it, that towel's going in there because, uh, I think I'll get less sleep at night. Uh, let my friend take his ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think people think about it till, till later, later on. Especially after the criticism. I'm sure Junior Desano's coaches were probably thinking like, we should, and then uh, we should throw the town, and then probably didn't. And then, and then later at night they're like, fuck, man, I feel really bad. We just let our friend get his ass whooped. Because yeah. he's a soldier. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't gonna quit. Yeah. Fighters ain't gonna quit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's up to your, to your uh, to your friend and, and your, you know what I'm saying? You're like, I'll stay in here all day. I don't care if I gotta die, you know. But uh, that's when it's you know, up to your friends and your brothers and you know, to not let you die. But by all means, uh, 
let me let me roll with the punches a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I think I'll be alright. But you know, I can trust my brother's uh, opinion and how it looked from the outside, so I understand that he threw the towel. You've already fought um, Gray twice before. What are your thoughts on heading into this uh, rubber match? Um, it's a fun, new fight. It's, a, it's, it's up to date now, and uh, this is what I'm dealing with now. So I don't really take too much from the last fights. I think of him as an improved fighter since the last one, and and um, see what's going to happen on Saturday. In that you had that rough patch here with the last couple of fights, I mean, where, what do you hope to really make a statement with in this fight? I just want to go out and do well and win, you know. Did you feel like the first two fights with Gray, did you feel like from the first to the second he improved a lot? Could, could you feel that he was a lot different the second time? Uh, I, I, thought, I thought he was a lot, a lot different. He came in with a different game plan, different stuff happened, so... Uh, uh, yeah, it was just a different fight all around. So. Do, do you think you're a different fighter than you were the first two times? Um, I think I'm like more more experience, more more times. Uh, I, it's not that you're better, maybe a little different. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Has so, your motivation changed at all? You know, I know, you're still motivated to get a title shot at this point, but you know, is it more important to, to finish Gray in this fight? It's important to win the fight, however, however I can do it. So. You've kind of been talking about Anthony Pettis getting uh, getting your way to him, and also to Josh Thompson again. Which of the two are you more motivated to get another shot at? Uh, I don't really care. The the thing with Anthony Pettis and Josh Thompson is they're uh, they're the they're the I lost to Thompson, and Anthony Pettis. Is the, is the champ, and he's, you know, supposed to be the hot shit right now, you know? And um, the, those guys are, those guys are the guys to beat, and on top of it, you know, I was ready to go to 170. I'm, like, over making weight and doing all this, because, you know, I don't feel I get paid good enough to, to lose weight all year long. I can make the weight, no problem, you know what I'm saying? I can make it happen, but I wish I would get compensated a little better for it. And I was ready to go, but at the same time, I wasn't gonna leave this division and let these two motherfuckers run the show, because you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna leave after I take take all these fools out. Cause I fought everybody else. There's Thompson now who beat me, so I gotta beat him back. Uh, and, and really, Gilbert already whooped him anyway too, so I ain't even you know. But I'll catch him too down the road, eventually, and. Uh, Pettis too. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna leave the division and letting you guys, letting them think, yeah, this is our division. Or uh, it's, it's a weird little thing I got going up, up here. But I, I, I can't, you know, I could have left when there's not shit. I had a lot, no motivation before. Uh, when, when BJ Penn was a champion forever, and I was fighting the UFC, I really had no motivation to fight for a title because we we're friends with uh, BJ Penn at the time. Uh, before he took the fight with my brother. And uh, I wasn't even considering taking a fight with him, you know. So I was like, just kind of fighting to fight and live, you know, and win and make money and just, you know, stay on a, stay on a win, win streak, whatever I can. And then uh, Frankie Edgar came out and trained with me a little bit uh, when when Ricardo Almeida was fighting in Oakland. So then I trained with him a little, and his teachers, uh, Ricardo Almeida and Hendo Gracie. And uh, those are my teachers' cousins. So I was like, okay, we're cool with these guys. I don't want to have no part of If I'm going to train with Frankie, I ain't going to have no beef. With, I'm not going to be fighting him, right? So then he won the belt, and now he's the champ. And I'm like, so I'm sitting around here like, I was motivated to win always fights, no matter what, right? And then when he's the champion now, though, now I'm not going to, like, I'm not motivated to go hunt down some belt. I'm just motivated to fight and win. And now, and then there was Henderson, who wasn't a very entertaining fight anyway. And if you lose to Henderson, it's going to be boring. And if you beat Henderson, you have to play some boring-ass game to beat him. So and that wasn't too motivated to fight either. And I was over making weight. And now these two motherfuckers come in like they're, like they're the hot shit. So I wasn't going to just bounce out of the division with them running the show. Uh, me and Gilbert are going to run a show here, and then I'll be on my way. Uh, if I if I get on my way, but I'm ready to fight those two 
after uh, I do this. Grand Manor thing. Take two more, guys. Thank you.